we got 19 minutes and 16 seconds before we overheated. I just updated my DJI Nano to the most recent firmware. So it says that this firmware is supposed to help with battery consumption and overheating. And we're gonna go ahead and do another test. I have two different infrared thermometers this time so I can check the temperature of the camera as we go. And if I just show you this on the back right here, so we're gonna go ahead and pull the camera off. It is fully charged. And if I grab this little guy, we're gonna scan right now. And we're doing this in Fahrenheit. So we are at 96.4 degrees Fahrenheit, okay? That is what we are saying from this one. And this little guy, if I turn him on, we're gonna go ahead and run a little test here. And this one is at 96.8 degrees. So 96.4, 96.8, we're gonna give it that 0.04 variation. Um, and so we should be fine. I am doing this without the shell on because somebody brought up that maybe the shell was actually affecting the ability for this thing to dissipate heat. I also had some people say that the shell helps dissipate heat. So that's gonna be uh, something that we could maybe test later. But for this test, I'm setting it on this little clip base, all right, because I did have it at some point sitting like just like this on the last test when I did the 4K60. But we're gonna have it sitting on this base, which should give us the best airflow. It is 77 degrees in the room that I'm in right now. There is no sort of crazy heat coming in. So the temperature should remain static. I have this at 4K60. We have the uh, log profile and everything set. So I'm gonna go ahead and run you guys through the settings really quickly, just so we all get to start at the same place. Just have this guy sitting right there for now. All right, so I am at 4K60. If I swipe up, you can see my settings, okay? Um, horizon balancing is on, standard stabilization is on. If I scroll over, you're gonna, oh, yeah. So if I tap here, I don't have the glamour effect on. I have the daily scenario for the um, stabilization. I have the endurance mode off. I have the image adjustment down there. I am not filming in 10-bit color. So I guess if I, if I went over to the pro, we could get to this 10-bit color, or that's normal 10-bit color. Um, or D-Log M 10-bit color. And I could certainly do these tests later. Maybe I should just test it right now, just like that. I was originally testing it with the, um, with the, uh, just the auto stuff because I felt like that's what most people would wanna know. But maybe we go 10-bit log, let's just do it. So we're at 100% battery right now and I'm gonna hit record. And we're gonna start a timer on my watch and I'm gonna have this thing set to check every five minutes. So um, that is the scenario that we are in. I've got some other videos that I need to film, but I'm gonna go ahead and let this guy run over here and I will make sure that I am checking those updates as I go. These tests take a while to run through, but I think that they're extremely valuable for anyone that's trying to make a buying decision on these cameras. So um, stick around, we'll keep, uh, well, I, I'll see you in a second. <laughs> Wanted to give you guys a quick update on this thing. We have been going for 15 minutes right now. And if I press this thing right here, you're gonna see just like this, we are at, wait, let me hold it right to it. We are at 127.8. I was at 126 just a minute ago. And we're gonna go ahead and uh, leave this guy right here as well. So main takeaway here is it is getting hot. And if we look at the temperature or the uh, battery life at the 15 minute mark, we were at basically 66% and about a minute and a half later, we're at 62%. So trying to give you guys a little bit of real-time updates. I don't wanna film every single five minutes because I'm also filming other stuff and I've got the thermometers going. This thermometer no longer works for the uh, test because it, the, the camera's too hot. It, it just says high. So this thermometer lets me set it to a food option and that's what I'm using to try and get uh, accurate readings of this as close as I can. And I mean, it's hot. It's you know 120 plus degrees Fahrenheit. And um, that's kind of where we're at. We've been going for 17 minutes now, according to this little recorder. So that's where we are at. And I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna check this every five minutes until it dies or overheats. And right now, 4K60, all the stuff that I said at the beginning is where we're at. And um, yeah, so stick around, we'll keep going. So I just lost the camera. I was in the middle of about to start filming something with the Go Ultra and the mics. And then I just, and this thing literally just shut off. So we're gonna do this really quickly just to make sure we get the actual reading in this moment. Gosh, I'm trying to hurry. Um, I don't even know what my final, let's see. Oh, it's just high. So this is probably over 130 degrees right now and it overheated at probably 18 minutes, give or take. Um, it says the device overheated uh, due to, you know, what the, the filming stuff. Let's go ahead and do this, stop recording. I was at 54 degrees. And if we go back, let's go ahead and see. Oh, I can't even see the right. Dang it. I hate the way this thing does this, but it is what it is. I got to connect this so that we can actually see the thing. Charging paused. Camera will resume charging once temperature returns to normal. Okay. So if I click here, we got 19 minutes and 16 seconds before we overheated. 
at 4K 60. Wow. With the D log M turned on. So 19 minutes. Dang. I don't even have to keep going with this test now. You know? Oh, I just <laughs> I said the phrase. Got to be careful when you say the phrases with the little Insta360. I'm about to test some some stuff with their mics, with the uh, the double audios and things like that. But um, yeah, I mean, I would say that's kind of the answer. You know, I didn't really want to even have to connect that to show it because I probably just messed up my charging thing. I was testing to see the battery life. But um, I mean, 52%, 20 minutes. I would expect to get around 35 minutes based on that, which is what I've gotten in the past as far as like the the um, battery life goes. And from my experience with this, if I let it sit for maybe a minute or two, I might get another 10, maybe 15 minutes of recording. Um, best case scenario, 20, and then it's gonna overheat again. I, I doubt that I would even get 20 based on this this situation. And the camera is very hot. So that, that did not go well. Um, and I had this thing, you know, in, in about as, as about as open environment as I could, as far as like just sitting here, it's a cool environment, 77 degrees in here. It's not super hot and it overheated in just 17 or 19 minutes. And th this is kind of where I'm at with this camera. I don't think that in normal daily use, if you're just running around filming little clips and things like that, that you're going to have that as an issue. Um, but I don't know how many clips you'd be able to get in like a three minute, four minute kind of video that you wouldn't eventually overheat the camera. Whereas with the Go Ultra, I just don't have that problem. It's never been an issue and I don't anticipate it being an issue um, for the camera. So yeah, uh, for me personally, I'm just, I'm actually at the point now where I think I might be returning this guy just because it continues to get hotter. Uh, now the Nano does get hot, I mean the Ultra does get hot, like it feels hot to the touch, but it never overheats. Whereas this one is definitely uh, still overheating and whatever they did to try and mitigate that battery life and the overheating issue uh, does not seem to have worked very well. So I can't even imagine what this would be like filming in a car or outside in the sun if there's not a breeze or anything like that uh, for a longer period of time. I imagine it would overheat faster. So maybe I could be wrong. Maybe, maybe we just need to test that in the future, but it's definitely still hot. So let me know if you have any questions. This test I'm not even going to bother continuing with just because it's not worth the time. We already know now. Um, how that's going to go. So um, yeah. All right. That's it. Uh, again, jump in the comments. I love getting into those comments and answering people's questions and then running the test for everybody. So let's think we're either going to sink or swim. Let's rise with the tide and I'll see you on the flip side.